This is a surprise, isn't it? I know he looks a bit shocked right now, but don't let that fool you. He's been planning this for months. Go on, Dieter, sit down, have another drink, and I'll take it from here. Katie and Grant are such a unique couple that I wanted to do something special for their day. Plus, I'm now sitting over there, relaxing and having a drink. Katie's getting her speech, so it's a win-win situation. I wanted to start by telling you all that I'm such a blessed ma man, thanks to my lovely wife, Sally, who gave me three amazing children that bring me love, joy and happiness every single day. Sally has just been such a great wife to me and a wonderful mother to our children. She really is the glue that holds us all together. The way our children have grown from sweet, loving little ones into amazing adults is mostly down to Sally's love, care and guidance. As the children were growing up, she made sure every day was packed with fun, love and laughter. And she still does. Well, I can't tell you how proud I was this morning when I walked Kaylee down the aisle to hand her over to her soon becoming husband, Grant. Kaylee, you looked stunning. He's a lucky guy. Now I know, because I googled it, that at this point of the speech I'm supposed to tell you why my daughter is so wonderful. But in all honesty, there's so much that I could tell you about Kaylee, it's hard to know where to start. To know Kaylee is to love her. She can melt an iceberg with her beautiful smile, but there's so much more to her than that. Kaylee is so loving. If you are in need, she will cross an ocean to get to you. She's loyal. I remember Reg saying to me long after Kaylee and Grant got together, that he was watching out of the window when he saw Grant struggling to carry a heavy beam. Kaylee dropped what she was doing and ran across the yard to help him. I know that Reg thought a lot of, of that because he said, she's a good girl, that coop. That made me so proud, but I thought to myself, Reg, you ain't seen nothing yet. She's caring. I could tell you a thousand stories about this, but one that stands out to me is on a holiday to Sri Lanka. Kaylee spent most, most of it rescuing a little puppy who had been hit by a train and lost, the, lost his paw. Of course, because of Kaylee, that little dog now lives in a loving family and couldn't be happier. Also, at the time, I have to admit that I felt a bit annoyed because I thought that she was missing out on, on the holiday. But when I look back, I know that Katie was doing the only thing she knew how. She was caring and doing something about it. Kaylee's funny, really, really funny. She has a knack of turning a real bad situation into something that makes you laugh. I remember once my poor wife getting caught in a real dangerous riptide. She and her father, Peter, were hit by several massive 15 foot waves and were just too far out for us to, to help. But thank God and Peter, who had a tight grip on her, Sally came out in one, in one piece, battered, bedraggled and feeling very sorry for herself. Kaylee ran to her with her eyes full of tears and gave her a hug. But then seeing how upset her mother was, said, Mum, you looked like a drowned rat which instantly broke the spell and started us laughing. That's just typical Kaylee. As you probably know, Kaylee's adventurous and always was. As they say, a picture tells a thousand words, so allow me just to show you a few. sum up, I would say that when Kaylee walks into a room, the light comes on, when she leaves, she is missed. And then, of course, there's Grant. When Kaylee and Grant first met, he was not too keen on meeting Sally and myself, and it took quite a few months for the initial introduction, which was slightly forced and went a bit like this. 
Charlotte, do you want a cup of tea? Yes, please. Okay. Hello. Oh, hi, sweetheart. How are you doing? Yeah. Are you coming back now, are you? Does that mean we're going to meet Grant? Do you mean he's busy? Well, tell him just to come in and have a quick cup of tea. I've just put the kettle on. Oh, okay. Maybe another time then. All right. Love you lots. Indeed. <laughs> As time went by, Grant became one of the family. He is an important part of our lives and we love him, like, like our own son. So thank you, Reg and Tina, for bringing up a very special, loving, caring and yes, sometimes grumpy young man. I remember Sally once asked Grant, how did you meet Kaylee? And in a typical dry sense of humor, he told her that he had stuck a pin in a map and drew a two mile circle around Plumstone. Kaylee just happened to be the prettiest girl in that circle, he said. Another example of Grant's desert dry sense of humor is when Kaylee accidentally cut herself and was quite upset. So when she went to Grant for help, with a worried look on his face, he said, you had better watch that, Mrs. It could turn into f all. As the years passed, we all began to wonder if Grant would ever pop the question. And every time they would go on their travels, Reg, Tina, Sally and myself would wonder, is this it? We almost gave up completely on the idea of this pair ever getting hitched. When they announced that they were going to Gretna Green, Gretna Green of all places, this was bound to be it. When we next saw them, we didn't mention that having been to Gretna Green, we had half expected an announcement. But Grant being Grant, turned to us and said, you can't rush these things. They can take tens of years. But last year, Grant walked Kaylee up the highest mountain in the Kangolms to romantically propose to her in the snow. When the call came through from the very excited, newly engaged couple, we were so thrilled for both of them. I know that Grant will love and treasure Kaylee for the rest of her life, and I have no doubt that Kaylee will do the same for Grant. They are, after all, best friends. Where Kaylee is weak, Grant is strong. And that works the other way around too, as it did recently when a bat flew into their bathroom whilst they were cleaning their teeth. Grant ran out, slammed the door shut behind him, and shouted to Kaylee, Deal with the bat, missus. And of course she did. Funny, Grant always called Kaylee Mrs. And now she really is his Mrs. So to conclude my somewhat unconventional speech, I would like to show you a little film that was made by the very talented Richardsons. Yeah, I'm talented. No, I think you'll find I'm talented. No, no, guys, I'm the talented one. <laughs> no, 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 I'm the one with talent. <laughs> oh. It's a representation of a poem that my wife wrote to me on our 25th anniversary to celebrate the fact that we hardly ever had a crossword. Also, Ironically, it is actually about one of the times where we did. Grant and Katie, listen carefully to the words at the end because I can't think of any better advice to offer you for your future together. Oh, before it starts, I have better mentioned that my nickname given to me by my lovely children is Pants. Apparently, I have a famous blue pair of them somewhere. But that's another story. Do you remember that night when we had a fight? You sprang out of bed and turned on the light. I'd nabbed you for years to fix that draft. Now I'd had enough. This was no longer a laugh. 
You stormed the shed in your famous blue pants. It was freezing and raining, but you took your chance. You were back in a flash. Didn't take you a minute. You pulled out the bed with me still in it. Attacking the beam of the silicon gun. I could tell by your grumbles you weren't having fun. Then you doctored it good and got back into bed. Out went the lights. Not a word was said. But without a draft on my neck all night, I slept pretty good, despite our big fight. When morning light broke, bed, middle of the floor, I remembered our scrap from the night before. But I looked round the room and started to snigger, under the blankets, a grumpy old figure, on your bedside table, what a sight. A weapon of battle from the previous night. So I gently woke you to be part of the fun. And we laughed till we cried at the silicon gun. Joking aside, Sally taught me an important lesson that night, which I want to pass on to you, Kaylee and Grant. Choose your battles carefully, don't go to war on a whim. Never load your gun with venom, only fight when you need to win. Don't be too proud to say sorry, sometimes this has to be done and always keep in the back of your mind the tale of the silicon gun. Let me just finish by saying congratulations to Grant and Kaylee, the new Mr. and Mrs. Goddard. I think that's it. Are we yeah. ready, Ella? Yeah, good job, Market. Pants, take one, two, five. That's a wrap. Oh, thank God. Okay, anybody for a cup of tea? That's marvellous stuff. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Slowly I'm getting drunk. <laughs> As time went by. That's it, have a good long dag. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I've been... <laughs> Are we filming? Okay. <laughs> You mustn't shuffle. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, more whiskey. Yeah, more whiskey. Yeah. So Kaylee is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Show you just a few. And then stop and have the paper. Richard. Oh. Okay. I had a very talented Richardson. Not mine. Okay. Talented. <laughs> Take 1,000. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Talented Richardson's. Okay. Best. Stop, stop, one second, take okay. a breath. That was made by the very talented Rich Richardson's. <laughs> yeah, that's the one! <laughs> oh, before. Oh, 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 before. Oh, before. Oh, oh, before I start. <laughs>